Nuke Publish Update, Intro Let me demonstrate an updated publisher. I have a main plate, some bullet holes, and a smoke plate, quickly comp together, with some color correction. This might be a good place for pre-comp. Next step is to load Bleach Bypass Gizmo, that lead artist published from shot 10. I will load it in my shot. Now I'm using the same gizmo as in shot 10, but will tune the knobs a little. Done. So far nothing new. I also have an open pipe render node ready, and input process effect loaded in the viewer for LUT and CDL preview. Let me add the pre-render here. Open pipe, create. Whole new interface here. Creator and publisher are now united. I will rename the pre-render and create it. As you can see, the render attributes are in the nuke node. Let me switch to the publish tab. Publishing parameters like render target or review are controlled from the publisher dialog. Let's try some more. I have a basic match move ready, with camera and floor. Open pipe, create. Select camera, name it, I want to use the selection, create. Here it is. Let me prepare the floor mesh for publish as well. Picking 3D model, name, selection, create. Time to publish it all. Open pipe, publish. We have a camera here, no need to publish the bleach bypass gizmo, the floor mesh, and pre-render to be locally rendered. Let's make a review from the pre-render. Also the main render is there. Great. Publish. GUI now has a progress bar that is easier to read. Finished. The report tab shows that all went smoothly. If you are missing the old interface, the details tab can provide all the geeky publish stuff. Let me switch back to the publish tab. I like to turn off the publishing switches on subsets that I do not intend to publish in the next run. Camera, model and pre-render can go. This concludes intro to updated publisher.